Man up. Stop crying about it. Worthless loser! Be strong. You need to man up. I want you to deal with your problems by becoming rich! I'm gonna help you rediscover your manhood. Do you have any idea, like, where you lost it? A man provides. You can act like a man! What's the matter with you? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? You play ball like a girl! You need a water break. Water is for cowards. Water makes you weak. Water is for washing blood off that uniform, and you don't get no blood on my uniform. Get how much pain you're in! You don't quit! Get off me, girl! Get off me! Stop crying. Stop crying. You know, it, it's tough being a male. Um, just as I'm sure it's tough being a female. It's tough being a male because, you know, just over just centuries and centuries, the male is always perceived as the dominant person, uh, the, the go-getter, the breadwinner, the protector. And I think there's a lot of things um, in culture and society that try to immediately box you in in terms of your sexual orientation. I think there's things that try to box you in immediately on, you know, like your career path. I think there's all sorts of different things that happen from music videos to, to movies that we see that, that say, you know, this is what a man is, this is what a man looks like, this is what a man says. And especially for minorities, I think that uh, there's a lot of minorities that feel like there are only two tracks in life. You know, I'm going to either be an amazing football player or basketball player, or I'm gonna be a rapper. And if I'm not one of those two things, you know, I'm not be successful in my life in, in some sort of way. It all goes back to society. I mean, if you look at society today, I think it's really tough, you know, for, for young men like myself and for many others. Um, to kind of be like, you know, this is the kind of man I want to be or who I should be, but. Just for guys, it's, you have to be this Adonis and you have to have rippling muscles and blah, blah, blah. And I just, it's, it's all just a load of crap. We're in this hyper gym culture. Uh, where everyone has to be ripped all the time and sculpted and um, it's really fascinating to watch that shift and I think it makes it really hard for there to be a consistent definition in our society of what masculine is. 500 street fights and you can consider yourself a legitimate tough guy. From what I've seen in American media mostly is men don't cry or something so stupid. A lot of things are just shown through a lot of media. It's this is what you have to be, this is what you have to do, and it's probably some of the most damaging things that is around nowadays. Vulnerability is viewed as a, as, a, as a bad thing to men. Men are, I think, taught a lot in our society to, to, to be strong, you know? Don't show weakness. But some just long to be understood. Introducing Wells for Sensitive Little Boys from Fisher Price. Wells for Sensitive Boys to wish upon, confide in, and reflect by. Some boys live unexamined lives. But this one's heart is full of questions. Just hear how much... Terms I think can be destructive to young uh, boys is definitely the man up or stop crying or <clears throat> not letting them show any kind of emotion. I think you can hinder uh, a, a young child, young boy, by telling him those things because then he, he thinks that he needs to be that way because that's the way dad is. Uh, which isn't always the case because we're all different and so we all experience emotion differently. Traditionally or stereotypically the way guys work is like they don't talk about their feelings 
they don't want to talk about whatever's wrong with them because they're going to be seen as less or they're going to be seen as emotional and weak. But if you would really sit down and look at how efficient it would make everything, all of your problems, if you're having an issue just to talk about it versus to go on passive aggressively about it or to just ignore it and internalize all of that hurt, pain or, you know, just upsetness, then you could see how how much of a better person you would become if you just be more willing to break down those walls within yourself. It's also good for a guy to also express their emotions as well because there are some people out there, they'll, they're gonna keep their emotions bottled up to the point where they're gonna have a breakdown and get angry. And it's just like, well, why didn't you say anything earlier? You know, they, they, it could have been helped. We revere movie stars who can show all these emotions on film, but there's a distancing there. Somebody else is experiencing it, so maybe I don't have to. And I think in some ways, even though we give them awards for that, uh, it makes us feel more comfortable that we didn't have to. And holding in those emotions, I think, is probably dreadfully harmful. I think that society needs to kind of just take a step back and understand that we are, we are delicate people. We're delicate creatures. Men are. Um, we have emotions, we're sensitive, we are, you know, we have compassion for other people. Don't think just because we're men that we're supposed to just take it on the chin and, and be okay with that. Um, expressing myself openly is kind of hard. Uh, I'm not really an expressive person in that, in that sense. Uh, my default really is just to kind of get mad and I don't know if that's to hide um, the emotion of, of sadness. Um, so I don't find it easy to cry or anything like that. It's not really my default. My default is to get kind of angry and, um, and blocked off to people. Uh, the relationship I have with the women in my life, uh, I have a three-year-old daughter. Um, when we first uh, decided to adopt her, I was kind of apprehensive because I really wanted a son. Um, <clears throat> I think that's just most guys thing. They just want a son to be able to pass things on to uh, and their last name and that sort of thing kind of uh, as a lineage. But uh, we adopted her and this is just one example and she has literally been probably the best um, asset in our life and the blessing in my life. taught me honestly how to be a better man, a better father. And I don't think that I necessarily could have got that with a son. Oh my goodness. Say chubby bunny. And so she's taught me to love um, uh, differently than I've ever been able to. Thanks, Zola. I needed a ride. I've always said anybody can be a father, but not everybody can be a dad. And uh, when my uh, first grandson was born, my daughter gave me a shirt that said, uh, great dads get promoted to grandpa. And I think that pretty well sums it all up. If you're, if you're a good dad, everybody will, will know it. And, uh, my kids always tell me. That's the nice thing, and they'll tell you. <laughs> I want to be like you, or they do things that you did, and uh, that makes you, it's very rewarding. When I would explain to my kids, my daughters, you know, my daughters would say, I want a man like you. And I would tell my daughters, hey, you know, when they made me, they broke the mold. They ain't, there's no more Johnny, it's just me. You gotta find somebody better than me. Your back was built to carry your son through life. Are you willing to hold him up no matter what comes his way? Yes. Show him. Good. Now keep going. I think that men are equal. Men are... Um, we're supposed to... Um, carry ourselves in a certain way. 
but I think it's okay if you don't follow the status quo at times and you just kind of think out of the box and you decide to do things different. That's what makes the world beautiful. That's what diversity is all about. That's what uh, being a human being is all about, is that there's no patterns, there's no, um, there's no rhyme, there's no reason, there's no right way or no left way, but it's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's about living and loving and honoring and respecting and just just being the powerful people that we were developed to be and making the most out of every opportunity, every minute, every second, making the most out of it and just being the best person you can be.